people, Mark Houlihan here with Speedway Motors. We are with Mike Stasco and the Tough Stuff Performance Accessories to get some of our customers' questions answered on alternators, power steering, and starters. Mike, first off, we get a lot of questions on one-wire alternators. Believe it or not, how to wire them even. But what are the benefits of a one-wire alternator? Well, a one-wire alternator makes installation simple. You can eliminate all the factory wires and you have one wire. And it's simple to hook up. You don't need to use any of the original OE wires. It, it has its own regulator built in, so it automatically regulates as needed. The other good thing about it is we have these both in, in stock amperage output as well as very high output. Okay, that was actually my next question I was going to lead into was high output alternators. Do they automatically go to a certain amount, you know, 150 or, or even greater? And also getting those alternators, the high amp alternators, protected properly. Well, it really depends on your application. What you need to do is add up all of the things that use electricity, from your lights, to your fan, to your air conditioning, if you have a stereo, if you have an electric power steering pump, um, or maybe if you're a truck guy, you might have a winch. Yeah. You need to add up all the amperage and, and whatever that total is, typically you want 20 to 25% more amperage than what your total usage is. So if you're talking about, like say, a, a, a muscle car, for instance, the original muscle cars came with 37 amp alternators. They had no electric uh, fans, they had no electric fuel pumps. Correct. You didn't need a whole lot of amperage. So you can get by with probably one of our 60 amp alternators, sim easily. But if you start adding a stereo, you start adding fuel injection, you're going to need more amperage. And at that point, we have, we have alternators that still fit the original OEM form factor that go all the way up to 160 amps on most of the GM applications. And we have them in a variety of finishes. It could be the, the Yazcast powder coated, it could be polished aluminum, chrome plated, uh, powder coated in a variety of rainbow colors, as well as black. Nice, so they get that higher output and they get to clean up the engine bay, get rid of all that extra wiring and get it to complement or contrast their engine bay theme. Absolutely, and the one thing I want to add is that if you are going to add or use one of our higher amp alternators, you have to use a, a larger diameter charge wire. Very if you point. don't have a larger charge wire and just use it like, like say a stock piece of wire, you will smoke that, especially when the battery is nearly dead and the, and the alternator goes into full charge. Okay. It will, the OE wire could catch on fire for you if you want. So that's why we sell uh, much thicker gauge, all pure copper uh, charge wires in a variety of lengths. Gotcha, so when you do that high output alternator, you need to take care of the actual charging system wiring and protection, uh, the fuses are, uh, as well, to make sure that that, that uh, alternator gets its job done and doesn't damage yeah, the car. Absolutely. and. Follow that through to the end. Make sure that if you've already taken off the ground straps, maybe you switch the motors or whatever, put all the grounding back on it. Yeah. We we see a lot of times where the grounding isn't done properly. Grounds, grounds, grounds. Gr That's what they always say. You can't right? say that enough. Yeah, always check those if grounds. You, if you don't like the looks of them, cover them up, use a, cover them whatever. But you need grounds for the, between the motor and the frame big time. Yep, yep. All right, well, I appreciate all the answers. It's gonna help our customers a whole lot. Thank you for watching.